everyone, welcome back. Today is the start of a new declutter series. So we have lots to talk about and then we have lots to declutter. I wanna talk about a couple of quick things really quick, okay? Number one, um, I'm using clutch nails for the first time. I don't think I like them. I don't really know for sure, honestly, I don't know. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I literally just put them on, so we'll see. Number two, this is the first declutter. So in this video, um, I will be explaining why I'm doing this declutter, why I'm doing it now, and also some fun facts about this specific declutter. So I normally do a declutter every year. I normally, I've already done my declutter for 2021 though. I don't remember if it was like a full declutter or what, honestly. I was going to do a declutter in 2022. However, this kind of prompted the whole thing and I was like, oh, maybe I should go ahead and start it now. I asked you guys on Instagram, everyone was like, do it sooner, just start it now, do it now. But I'm going to kind of stagger it and I'm going to film it as I stagger it. So this is the first one. So I've done, I have filmed two declutters thus far and they were literally just my perfumes and my back cubbies here. This is the first makeup declutter that I filmed for this series so far. And this one will be going up in November, obviously. And then they'll be staggered from December to I think like March or something. And I'm just gonna do like a couple of months so that it doesn't get too stale and it doesn't feel like I'm like shoving declutters down your throats. Cause obviously when I declutter, I do still buy new makeup. The entire point is to get the old stuff that I don't like or that I'm not using out of my collection. And then make sure that the effort is there in the future that when I go shopping, um, I am kind of being a little bit smarter about it and thinking it through more. And I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job with that. Obviously I've had some impulse purchases that were not very smart, um, especially recently because the holidays are always just woo, you know, but I only have, I have a couple of things that I'm planning to get for Black Friday. Um, so I've got a couple of like planned Black Friday purchases and then I have a big Ulta haul that I'm going to do, but it is only using the points that I have. Now I do have an ungodly amount of points, um, but that is the goal here is to be as smart about it as I can be, okay? So, this is what we're doing. Um, I don't know how ruthless this is going to be. My entire goal is to get rid of the stuff that has gone bad or that I just genuinely don't want to use, and then we will figure it out from there. Um, okay. Does that, any of that make sense at all? Do you guys see what I'm saying? I'm starting with liquid lipsticks today solely because I had talked about doing a liquid lipstick project pan and I want to do that, but I was sitting there thinking about it and I was like, I don't really, like, I don't know why I've kept this, sh like, it was this one particular one. I was like, I don't know why I've kept this because this one was really patchy and, like, I don't really wear it anymore. So now I'm going to, like, make myself use the whole thing. And then I was like, you know, if I'm going to do a project pan, it would make more sense to go through and declutter my liquid lipsticks and then figure out if there's even enough to do a project pan with. Cause I want, you know, I'm doing project pan for what won't fit in my drawer. So I was like, it would make more sense to do a declutter first and then go through and figure out if I have extras left over that I can do a project pan with. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going to declutter this and then we will see if we have enough to do a project pan with. Cause I only want to project pan the stuff that I actually want to use and not just, um, use products I hate because they're here. So let's jump in. We're going to jump in. I'm wearing a sweater today because I didn't think that went through. I'm going to push my sleeves up. I'm going to lower you guys down a little bit so you can see my tabletop and we are going to get started. Did I go over everything I wanted to go over? I don't know. I did it in my head and that counts for something. Okay, so little overview here. This is from my drawers. This is the container I literally went through and like picked out, like I just randomly reached in and grabbed liquid lipsticks. This is that container. This is a liquid lipstick that is in my current Shop My Stash when I'm filming this. And then these are ones that um, have not gotten put away yet. So obviously I try, like I feel like this, what fits in this container is enough liquid lipsticks. I really don't need more than this. So let's go through it. Okay, we're gonna do swatches. Um, this is the About Face Paint It Lip Color in Last Good Night. I actually really like this, and this is fairly new. 
um, but it is such a beautiful shade and it seriously is probably one of like my favorite liquid lipsticks right now because it's just so gorgeous. It lasts all day and it doesn't feather or anything like that. So this one for sure I'm keeping. I also like the size of this. It's compact, it's easy to take with me, and it's like it's just a nice smaller size, which I feel like in makeup is probably a good thing. I have several Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Ashton. Um, shade wise, it's beautiful. I love these shades. ABH liquid lipsticks always smell slightly of paint to me, and I know that's like a sign that they've gone off, but ABH smells like paint, like brand new. This one doesn't smell too bad, and I like the shade of this, so this one I'm going to go ahead and keep. This one is in the shade Beaming. I'm not gonna wear that. What is that? Why do I have that? No. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. This is the shade Bittersweet. I actually like this, kind of like these brown tone neutrals. So this one smells pretty good too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this one. This is the shade Bohemian. Um, this one is also in pretty decent condition. It's getting a little hard to open up the tube for it though, but I like the shade of this. So this one I'm going to keep, but this is going to go straight into the project pan drawer because this is starting to get a little sticky. Um, so just to be on the safe side. We'll project pan that one. This is the shade Chrome Red. I like this, and it's like a nice blue-based red. So this one I think I will hang on to as well. The packaging is dusty as hell, though. This one is Dusty Rose, and I love the shade of this, but this one just smells like it has 100% gone off. So this one I will go ahead and toss out. This one is on mute, and I'm trying to think about how that would look on my lips. I think I'm actually gonna go try this one on. Cause I feel like that's gonna be a little too pale for me. So let me try this one on, like on, on. Okay, so I actually do like this. I'm gonna hang on to this one as well. This one is the shade Peachy. Pe this peach shades like this just do not look good on me. They look make me look so washed out. And this one is so broken up. This one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. This one is Sand. I am far too fair for this shade. Like, look at this. Very lipstick. I feel like that is just far too fair for my skin tone. It would look like concealer, but like just obviously an unmatched shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along too which sucks because I bought um, all these ones with the white top in like the undressed collection and I'm only keeping like one of them. So, and I think this is actually a Black Friday purchase from last year. Uh, so, lesson learned. I have to be really careful about the nudes I buy because I'm so pale. And then I have some of these, the Balm Creamy Lip Stains. Honestly, I don't use these very often. This is in the shade Aloha. And I'm wondering if these should probably go in like the lip gloss drawer because these are stains, and I feel like glosses and stains. This is Hello, because that's not like a liquid lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna take these, um, and I'm going to move these to my lip gloss drawer, and I'll see about decluttering them. Like, I'll kind of go through them when I do my lip glosses, but I just don't think that these belong in this drawer. Then I have some from Bite Beauty. This is the Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip. This one is in the shade Braised, which is beautiful, and yes, 100% I'm keeping that. That's gorgeous. I love the minty smell that the Bite Beauty lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks have. Then I have this one in Eclair. Um, this is a pink. I normally don't do like lighter pinks like this, but this one I do like, so I will be hanging on to that one as well. And then I also have this Bite Beauty one in Whip. Um, I like this shade. It does smell like it's starting to go off though, so this would go into the Project Pan Bin, because um, I would want to use it before it goes bad. Moving on, we've got some Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Lips in Pin Up Pink, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer to my arm, so you can see a little bit better. Sorry about that. This one, oh, that's bad. It feels so dry. That really sucks, but honestly, this is not my shit anyways, so that one will go into the trash. This is another Hollywood Lips. This is in the shade Platinum Blonde. These are, these are like a mousse whip. They don't smell the greatest. This one's gonna go too. This is the um, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't remember what lip line this is from, but this is in the shade Video Vixen. I love this one, it's so pretty. Definitely more of like a gloss consistency. And this one still seems to be okay, so I'm going to hang on to this one. And then, oh, here's another Hollywood Lips. This is in Dolly Bird. That is just so... Like, first of all, these have totally gone off. And second of all, these are not my shade. Why do I have these? They're not my shade. And then this is another Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know what line this is from, but this is in Pillow Talk. And that's a gloss, like that is a severe gloss. So I'm gonna move this to my gloss drawer. Why is that in here? I have some from Colored Rain. This one is in the shade Bubblegum. Super cute and it still smells good. Um, this is the bubblegum shade. 
So I'll be hanging on to that one. This one is in the shade Honey Mustard. It is a yellow. I do like having more kind of unique shades of liquid lipsticks um, for, you know, specific type of looks. But I'm wondering if I'm ever going to need a yellow like that. It is very cute. I actually kind of like this shade, but like as a liquid lipstick, do I like it? I honestly don't know. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. I have yet to ever wear that. This is Kiss Me by Colored Rain. And this one I have worn. But I have other, like, kind of more purples that I would wear on a regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. And then this one is Lucky Charm. I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along. I'm just never going to wear that. And I feel like if I really wanted to wear kind of shades like this, I could just pull out, like, an eyeshadow or something and kind of, like, make my own. You know what I mean? I wonder if this is how it's going to go for, like, the rest of them where I find products that are kind of on their last leg and then I'm like, oh, I should probably go ahead and use that up. Like, this might launch a whole new project pan. We never know. I have the whole ColourPop uh, Fresh Kiss Lip Cream Set. I just got these. I did a video on them. That's, like, that's so light. Um, I did a video on them. I do plan on keeping... I think all of these. I know there was like one shade that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I want to try it out with some different lip liners. So for right now, I'm going to keep all of my ColourPop the Fresh Kiss lip creams. And then I have a bunch of these ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lips. So this one is in the shade Avenue. That one I'm going to keep because that is definitely a shade that I will wear, and this seems to be in pretty good condition. This one is in the shade Bumble. Again, love this shade. So I'll be keeping that one. This is in the shade creeper this is a little bit more of like a bright red but I do like this shade and the formula of these um, I haven't used these in a while but I recall liking so hopefully this one is in the shade and chill this is a little bit darker that's like brown brown I'm wondering how that would look like on my lips I don't like that shade I'm gonna pass that one along this one is in the shade doozy this is the ultra blotted lip and this one just smells off so I'm gonna go ahead and pass I'm gonna toss that one in the trash this one is in the shade flurries I love the shade of this and this one is still in good condition so we're gonna hang on to that one this one is in the shade fuego and this is the kind of like nude brown that I like so this one I will hang on to this one is in the shade lax this, okay, so this one and this one are really similar to me, but this has more of like red tones to it. So this one I'm going to hang on to. This is in the shade Love Bug. I love that. So I'm going to hang on to that. This one is in the shade Mama. And this is like a nice like kind of orangey red. So I'm going to hang on to this one. This one is in the shade Souffle. So I've got a lot of these kind of like purple based shades like purpley pinks I guess and I used to really like these and I feel like at this point in my life I'm just kind of like moving away from them I don't know I mean like it is a nice shade though I'm gonna put this in the mm, I'm gonna put this in the project pan pile for right now and that might become like a decluttered like I don't know if it's going to make it to the project pan thing this is the shade take a pixie I like that shade and this one is in good condition so this one I will hang on to as well and then the last ultra matte lip this is Times square I'm going to put that one right there. I love this shade too. So this one I will also keep. Um, I do have this. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in Pitter Ponder. The packaging is so old. And this has like way gone off. Plus this is like a bubblegum pink, which I do not like on my skin tone. So this one will also go into the trash. Lastly from ColourPop, this is one of the Luxe Velvets and it's a banger. I like the formula of the Luxe Velvets and I like this shade. So I am going to hang on to this one. And then this is also one of the Luxe Velvets. This is in room service. This has been through some shit. I like the shade of this. This one is just kind of not living its best life right now. I am going to move this to the Project Pan bin because um, it, it's going to need to go soon. I also have this from Complex Culture. This is the Deal Closer Tinted Lip Cream. I love this. This is like one of my lip favorites, but um, it does not fit in my drawer. So this will be going into the Project Pan bin. This is from Cover FX. This is the monochromatic lip color in Sweet Mulberry. I want to like it. It's like a gray tone purple. I'm going to try it on my lips really quick. Okay, so I tried this on my lips. I actually do like how it looks, um, but the smell, it, it is starting to go off. So I'm going to move this into the Project Pan bin for right now. And again, I just don't know if this is going to make it or not. I have some of the Dominique Cosmetics. These are the Cream Matte Liquid Lips. I love the formula of these. This one is in the shade Babe. Um, this one is a really pale pink and I bought like a set of these and I think that this was like the lightest shade. I'm going to keep this one for now. 
for now. This is the shade Love Drop. I love this. Obviously, my, my basic lip go-tos are like red and nudes, so that is what I'm keeping a lot of. This one is in the shade Nude Kiss. I love this one, these kind of like pinky nudes, so I'm going to keep this one. And then this one is in the shade Heartbeat. So I'll be keeping all of the Dominique Cosmetics ones. Um, and then I've got some Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Date Night. I love the shade. The smell is starting to go off a little bit. So this will be moved to the Project Pan Bin. This one is in the shade Knock on Wood. Um, and I just don't know how that would look on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I don't know because it looks almost like an orangish. Okay, I tried this one on my lips and I do like this, so this one I will be hanging on to. This next one is called Play It Cool. Oh yes, this is such a pretty shade. Oh, it does have a slight scent to it though, so this one will get moved to the Project Pan Bin. And then this one is called Rosebud. I also really like this one, but again, it has a slight scent to it, so this one will get moved to the Project Pan Bin. Um, next up, this is from M Cosmetics. This is, I don't remember what it's called, but the shade is Soft Sangria. If you recognize this packaging, this is like brand spanking new. And I love the shade of this. So this one I will be hanging on to for sure. And then I've got these from Farah. These are the Matte Boss liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Coco. Um, I tried these and this was like a new launch. This one is in the shade Farah. And these kind of like flake and feather off a little bit. These are the liquid, the Matte Boss liquid lip pigments. Um, so those are the two, two of the three shades swatched. And their shades aren't really that great. And they just kind of like, they don't last all day and they feather off really weird and they tend to bleed a lot. So these I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. From Fenty, I have my favorite. This, these are the Stunna Lip Paints. This one is in an Uncuffed. This is like my holy grail liquid lipstick. This is my absolute favorite shade ever. It is going bad though. So I'm moving this to the Project Pan Bin because I cannot let any of this go to waste. I also have have a second shade in these Stunna Lip Paints. This one is unattached. I picked this up during like a boxy sale or something and it is a really pretty shade, but it is like vastly different. And this one also kind of smells like it's going off as well. So this is also getting moved to the Project Pan Bin. This one is from Flesh Beauty. I do not know what the name of this line is, like this, like the lip line. Um, this is in the shade Sprawl. It has such a nice like minty scent to it and I love this shade. So this one I will be hanging on to. I think I might end up with like a lot of open spaces as well as a good project pan. This one is from the brand Fluid. It's in the shade Candy Bar. Yeah, I'm keeping that. That is so pretty. Oh no, the lid is cracked. Like that part, okay. So that's gonna bug me. I'm moving this into the Project Pan Bin. Um, I have some of these liquid lipsticks from Give Them La La Beauty. This one is in the shade I Love You. These are just so, like, it's such a dry formula. And I don't get that. And like their lip oil too, I talked about that. I thought it was terrible. That shade is way too light. The shade Send Nudes is way too light. This is Trippin, which is like, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and pass all three of these along. I did not end up liking those at all. Um, I have some from Glam Light. So this is very licious. This is from the Ice Cream Dream Collection, I think. Um, it's very pretty, but it is like a hot, hot, hot pink, and I don't normally wear hot, hot, hot pinks. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. I also have this one, which is the chocolate shade. I actually just used this in a uh, Shop My Stash, and I do like it, but I don't know what that formula is because it's almost more of like a lip gloss formula. So I think I'm gonna move this to my lip gloss drawer. And then I have these two from their new Happy Hour collection. Um, this one is in the shade Rum, and these are the liquid lipsticks. I really like the Rum shade. This one is Pinot Noir. And this is a nice like berry shade, but again, I don't know. I'm not loving all of these like super deep berry shades. So I think I'm going to, see this is one of those collections that was definitely an impulse purchase for me. And I love the eyeshadow formula of Glam Light. And I like the concept of these. And I do think the packaging is really cute, but I also don't like the packaging of these. Like I think it's adorable but I don't want it like in my collection. But the product itself is good. And like it is cute, but like it's just, it's too different. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like this is like really where my petty nature comes into play because I do like this. And I, I have tried these lip products and I do like them. Like the quality is really nice. I'm gonna keep rum and I'm gonna pass along this shade because it, I just, I'm not wearing like these colors right now. 
and there's like a happy, happy medium. I'm getting rid of way more than I thought that I was going to, and it's kind of making me nervous. Okay, I have a bunch from Half Caked. This is 82 Bordeaux. Here's the thing, the shades on these are so pretty, but these are so patchy, and I've got several of them. I'm gonna pass along all of them. I don't like this brand's um, liquid lipsticks, because they're just all patchy. I don't like it. So I'm going to pass along all of these. This brand does have other good products, but the liquid lipsticks is not it. Here's another one. That one's going. I have several from Huda Beauty. This is one of the Demi mattes. This is in the shade Lady Boss. This is from my Shop My Stash from the week that I'm filming this. Um, and I do like this shade. So this shade I will keep, um, and I'm going to put it back with my Shop My Stash products. And then I also have this liquid matte. This is in the shade Alluring, and that's like a bright orange red so i will be hanging on to that one too because it is so pretty this is the huda beauty demi matte in the shade bombshell um i like this one i believe i'm gonna hang on to it for now and if i try it and it's like way too light i'll get rid of it then this is the demi matte in chica i believe this one is stunning 100 i'm hanging on to that one this one is shiro um i do like this shade as well so i'll be hanging on to that one and this one is the shade trendsetter this is my most used and it is starting to smell a little off so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the project pan basket okay next up this is from ink credible this is the glazing over intense color lip glaze in plans today i remember liking this one. Oh, see that's like such a pale 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 purple though so now I'm debating it. I have had this one for a while though. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the Project Pan basket and I'll see if I end up liking the shade. Cause I remember really liking it, but I don't know. So we'll see. Um, from Jaclyn Hill, I have the liquid lipstick in Gratitude. I actually just got this and y'all, I actually really like it. I like the shade, I like the formula. Um, I think it's really nice all around. So this one I'm gonna hang on to. Okay, from Juvia's Place, I have a bunch of these. This one is in the shade Caramel Rose. I like that one. I can live with that one. This one is in the shade Barely There. That is far too light for me. This one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. This one is in the shade Sis. This is kind of more up my alley, so I'll hang on to this one as well. And this one is in the shade Kiss Me. This is very similar to that Incredible. Um, one that I just moved over into my project pan. So I'm gonna hang on to it for right now. Um, we'll see how that goes. I might end up decluttering that in the future. I have a couple of liquid lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. Um, there's a lot of Kylie Cosmetics that I don't like. The liquid lipsticks are honestly, like, I think the best part of her collection. This is the shade in the old packaging, um, Savage. And it seems to be like doing okay, but because it is old packaging, I know it is on the older side, so this will go into the Project Pan bin. And then I have this one in the shade Angel, which is new, and I'm going to keep it. And then I also have Queen. Queen is actually in my bag right now, but I'm going to be keeping that one as well, because I just wore that one. So Project Pan bin, the other two are keeps. This is the Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color in Love Blush. This is not for me. I don't know who I thought I was. I don't know where I got this from. Probably from a boxy sale, probably from a boxy charm, something like that. Um, but that is not for me. So that one will be passed along. I have a couple of the KVD Vegan Beauty. This is like the everlasting liquid lipsticks. I've got latex and then wolf. So this one is latex and this one is wolf. I love both of these actually. I like the formula. I like the shades um, and I do wear them. Here's my issue. They won't fit in my drawer because they're too tall and I feel like I can find other shades similar to this in packaging that does not drive me batty like this does. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass both of these along. And I'm not putting them in the project pan just because when am I gonna wear these like that much so soon? You know what I mean? So those are gonna go. Um, I have some Lime Crimes. I don't know what collection this is from, but this is the shade Gigi. These are kind of hit and miss with the quality. I am gonna hang on to this one for now. Um, this one is in the shade Jinx. I'm gonna hang on to that one for right now because I do like that. And then this one is in the shade Red Rose. I feel like this was like the really patchy one and that's what it looks like. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. And then I have a whole set of these Lime Crime lip blazes and they are all in like kind of neutral shades. So I wanna swatch them all and then kind of see how I feel. So that one is Cali. This one is Bud. That is like brown brown. And I bought these cause I was like, ooh, pretty neutrals. Like, am I gonna wear them? I don't know. That's Clover. This one is Herb and this one is Ivy. <sighs> okay. I feel like this 
Bud, which is this brown shade, this one can go. I'm gonna pass that one along. I actually do like the other ones, so I think I'm gonna hang on to them, because I do like the shades, and like those, I think I'd wear. I don't think I'd wear Bud, so that one's gonna go, okay. Ooh. I have two liquid lipsticks from the brand Minted. Um, this is Peachy Keen, and I don't know about this formula, but the shades are pretty, and it feels like a really nice, like, kind of velvet whipped formula, so I am going to hang on to that. And then this one is Blood Orange, and I love these shades. So I'm going to hang on to both of these, and both of these are fairly new, so I know that they're in, like, good condition. This one is from Milani. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. Um, I like it, but it is starting to have like a scent to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the Project Pan Bin. I have a couple from Milk. These are the Milk Lip Vinyls. This one is in the shade Fax. Put it right there. Oh, that feels really dry, but it smells fine. I'm trying to remember like what this formula is like. What is this other one that I have? This one is in the shade Flossy. I recall liking these. Yeah, they're just kind of a drier formula. So I am gonna hang on to both of those. Um, and then I also have this from Model Rock. This is the Graffiti Lip Paint in Rebel. I got this from Boxy, and I do really wanna try it. So I am gonna hang on to it for now so I can try it out. This one is from Morphe. This is the Liquid Lipstick in Jealousy. Have I tried it? Yes, do I remember what I think? No, I'm gonna hang on to it for now, and we'll have to see. I just realized that I forgot to put in these Kaleidos shades. And again, I just did a video on this and I liked all of them, so I will be keeping all of them. I just need to put them in here now. Um, okay, and then I've got some from Nude Sticks. This is the Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. Uh, this is the Bahama Mama shade. Love the shade, but it is starting to smell a little off, so this is going to go in the Project Pan Bin. This one is um, Hot Paprika. Okay, I like the shade and this one smells good, so this one I will be hanging on to. And then this one is the shade Nude. This is the Lip Glace, which is more of like a lip gloss formula, but for whatever reason it's in here, but it, it's like thick enough that like I'm okay with it being in here. So I will be hanging on to that one. And then I also have this one, which is Waikiki Rose. This one is like a little bit lighter, but I also like this one as well. So I'll be hanging on to this one. And then I have a couple of the NYX lingerie um, liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Exotic. Okay, that just feels like really thick and like it's gone bad. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and just toss out. And then this one is in the shade Cabaret Show. Again, is that like just the formula of these? It like It's like chunky-ish. I don't know, this one doesn't smell too bad though. I'm gonna put this one on the Project Pan bin. Okay, then I've got some from Ofra, and I have some from the old packaging and from the new packaging. So these are the long-lasting liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Charmed. It's a cute shade. It is starting to smell like it's going off a little bit, so this one I will be putting in the Project Pan Bin. This is from the Madison Miller line, but I don't know. Oh, this is the Oh My Rai Rai shade. That one's still good, and it still smells good. So this one I will hang on to. And then I have some of the ones in the new packaging. So this is Pasadena. That's a pretty shade. I like that. And I like these Ofra liquid lipsticks. This one is like all stained up. This one is Mina. That is super pretty. I'm gonna hang on to this one too. Again, all stained up. Do I have something on my fingers? Oh no. This one is in the shade Santa Ana. Okay, that one just, I put it in a different spot. Still looks weird. That one's gonna go. This one is in the shade Verona. This one is starting to smell a little off. So into the Project Pan it bin it goes because I like that shade. And then the last one is um, in the shade Unzipped. I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna hang on to that one for right now. Like it's fine. Okay. Right, this one is Real Her. This is the I Am Awesome Lip Plumping. It says it's a lip gloss. Why is it in this drawer? I'm gonna move this to my lip gloss drawer. Um, okay, these are both from that Rowan Beauty. These are the liquid lip balms. I have not used these yet. This one is in the shade Charlie. That's a fucking lip gloss. This is also in the shade Charlie. These are going into the um, lip gloss drawer. How do I have so many lip glosses in here? So I have some of these Smashbox Always On liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Babe Alert. That's cute, I actually like that shade. I'm gonna hang on to that one. This one is in the shade Driver's Seat. This one's starting to smell a little funky, but I like the shade, so Project Pan Basket it goes. This one is in the shade Out Loud. I don't know if that's, that's like much thicker than the other one, so Project Pan Basket. This one is in the shade Stepping Out. That one should be okay, and I like the shade of that, so keeping that one. 
Um, this is from So Susan Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Matte Longwear Liquid Lipstick in Raisin Flesh. The name is like super weird, but it's actually a really pretty shade and it still smells really good. So this one I will be hanging on to. This is another So Susan Liquid Matte Longwear Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Pumpkin. Again, love the shade and I will be hanging on to this one as well. I have a couple from Sugar Rush. Um, this is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Cupcake. Okay, this does smell like it's starting to go off. So Project Pan Basket for this one. And then I also have the shade Sprinkle. That one smells much better. So I'm gonna hang on to Sprinkle. Cupcake is gonna go into the Project Pan Basket. Okay, so I have some from Suva Beauty. These are the Moisture Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Thunder. Super pretty, but like realistically, it goes on kind of patchy and I don't wear enough blue for that so that one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along this one is in the shade fictional reality and again I don't know let me think about that one this one is in the shade El Elysium see I feel like the blue one just definitely goes on patchy I don't love this purple shade this is the only one I'm torn on, but like I have enough red. So these are all gonna go bye-bye. Love Suva Beauty, but I did not have much luck with their lipsticks. Um, from Touch and Soul, I have a couple of these Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duos. This one is in the shade Maria. So it's like this metal. Nope, that's the liquid. Oh yeah, but okay, but yeah, that's the liquid. This is the gloss. I do like these actually, they're really cute. And then I also have this one, which is in the shade, I don't even know but this one is expired. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. I am gonna keep Maria. I have some Too Faced ones. This is the Too Faced Melted Me Metallic in Faking It. I actually like this. I'm not normally a metallic lip person, but this is one of the ones that I have kept because I've liked it. And then I've got the Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Clover 2 and 3. I just got these recently, and yes, 100% I'm keeping them because they are some of my favorite shades. And then I have two of these Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in Back Talk. I love it. And this one is in Trivial. That looks patchy. Okay, here's the deal. Both of these are like old as hell. I'm going to put them in my Lip Project pan. We're gonna see how it goes because I wanna use these, but they are old, old, old. And then the very last liquid lipstick I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Stained Gloss. This is a lip gloss. Why do I do this to myself? This is going in the lip gloss drawer. Okay, so these are the ones that I am decluttering. We started out with a grand total of 150 liquid lipsticks. That's what we have gone through here today, 150. We are decluttering a total of 39 of them that are either going to get passed along or go to the trash if they're just far too old. And then I also have another 25 of them. Actually, we started with a grand total of 151 because I do still have one in my purse. Okay, um, and then I have another 25 of them in my Project Pan Basket. This will have its own video. There will be a video coming out in a couple of days um, with the intro to this Project Pan because these are ones that are, like, are about to go bad but I actually really like and I don't want to see them go to waste. I want to get as much use out of them as I can. So I don't know exactly what my terms are going to be for the Project Pan. We'll have to wait to find out. And some of these will probably end up getting decluttered um, if the formula has just gone off that badly. But ideally, we'll be able to use as many of these as possible and this is our discard pile so I feel like we did pretty well I actually have like several rows in my drawer now that I've got extra empty space in which is fabulous way better than I could have expected so great job I'm very pleased thank you guys so much for joining me here today what have you decluttered recently if you are interested in the rest of this declutter series make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me so that you don't miss it when new ones go up uh, it will be you know they'll be popping up periodically staggered. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great one. So long.